Hi there, and welcome back to Toy Thomas Presents a Google Drive How-To. This is Google Drive How-To 3 of 10. This is Lesson 3.0. Let's tour the drive. So we're going to start in Chrome, and you can use your preferred browser. I'm going to already be in Drive, and we're going to be looking across the top row, moving from left to right. So the first thing that we see is the Google Drive icon, and this is where we would click to come back to the Drive homepage or landing page if we ever get lost. The next thing that we see is the search bar. You can click the drop down for a more thorough or concise search of items in your drive or simply type in the field for what you are looking for. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, so next we have the offline icon. You would click here to see which files and folders are currently available offline. Um, this is my preview. Nothing is currently offline right now. <laughs> if you know you will be without internet access, turn this on to see which files are available or need to be made available when the internet is down. So let's say like your cable company is coming over and they have to turn off, you know, something to work on it. You would be without internet for a while. You would want to see what you have available. The next time you have an internet connection, these files will upload to the cloud and sync with all other the devices using the drive. Now note, this icon may not be present in other browsers. So if you're not using Chrome, you may not actually see this icon, but that's okay. There are still other ways to gain offline capability. Um, that's a lesson for another day. So the next thing that you see is the support icon. You click here to get access to the entire database of tutorial and helpful documents and forums. You have help, training, updates, etc. With these resources, you really don't need this class. However, they offer very few video support. Um, they do offer detailed step-by-step -step instructions, but it is a lot of reading. But you always have them. They're always there, free to access whenever you need it. The next thing is the settings icon. You click here to access drive settings, drive for desktop, and keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to quickly look at this. If you're already familiar with shortcuts, a lot of these are the, um, kind of the same. It has a couple of different, you know, things that you can use in terms of shortcuts. Um, Chrome, for some reason, just is it automatically works well. But like if you're using Drive in, say, um, Firefox or in that, um, Microsoft Edge, you may have to use some of those shortcuts to like cut and paste those kind of things. Let's see. Get Drive for your desktop. I'm going to click on this just to show you what it is. This is basically allows you to download a version of Drive that's always on your desktop. So this is basically if you don't have an office processing program like Word or something, you could have this on your desktop and use that. Um, I prefer using it in its for current cloud format and I use it with my office program. And then the last thing is your actual like drive setting. And as you can see, shows you how much storage you have and um, some other options here. And you can play around with these settings. There you go. So the next thing that you see is the Google Apps um, icon. And we've already seen this little grid of dots and what's in there. And then the next thing that you see on here is your account image. Avoid clicking on this unless you want to change your image or need to do something that infects your entire Google account, not just Drive. Only add an additional account if you feel comfortable managing multiple accounts in one browser. Otherwise, use another browser, which is why I use three different browsers. You can have another account here. Like, I'll click on it and show you. See, I have other accounts that I can access from here, but I now have different browsers so that I'm not doing that. So just 
keep that in mind. And that's this little top bar here. That's all I have for today. This was a short one. So I hope you found this, um, you know, somewhat <laughs> helpful. And um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider sharing it just in case someone else might benefit from it. Um, I will continue to post these on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, until, you know, I get through all 10 of the, the, the little installments. And it doesn't cost you a thing. This is free. <laughs> um, please consider following the channel and clicking the bell so that you get notifications of the new videos. As always, I do apologize that comments are disabled. That's an exclusive feature from my patrons along with the transcript. But you can email me on um, in my about page or you can visit me on my website and I will answer any questions you leave me there. I did want to let you know that this particular video does come with a patron exclusive follow up. But that content in no way interferes with the overall course. And so, yeah, that's all I have. You know, this is Toy saying stay safe and be blessed.